Seven. I was throwing up. I haven't thrown up since seven o'clock this morning. It's now one twenty. Is it really that late already? Yeah, it's really that oh. late. Already. And we're just getting to our good morning. Um. <laughs> so, um, hopefully, I will be able to go live tonight. Um, right now, I'm just feeling very weak, very tired, very miserable. So. Groovy, man. What have you been doing already this morning? Oh, well, it's been a weird... Ugh, sorry about that. First of all, I'm fighting this one off for some reason. Wants to climb into my mouth, this one. But, uh, yeah, I got a text message... Not a text message, but uh, a What's voice that? message saying that the power went out in, in one of the units at the apartment. So I went running over there, and they t didn't know why I was there. It's really funny because the lights were off when I went over there. It says, uh, it's power, power off? It's like, oh, I don't know. It's power off. And I went back to look at the message, and it was uh, almost a month old. So why I'm just getting it now, I don't know. So I don't know. Well, hopefully once I get uh, the phone Crystal is sending me and we get the phone switched over and stuff, um, then uh, maybe hopefully you won't have those these issues with the new phone. Yep. So. Right. Your little stink pot. So anyway, um, what else are you going to be doing today? Well, today, hopefully, I'm going to uh, wire a new circuit, another uh, power outlet under the sink, so I can ins start installing the washing machine. Dishwasher and the garbage disposal. Yeah, the dishwasher and the garbage disposal. So first thing I need to do is run power. So that should be relatively easy. We'll see how that relatively usually usually turns into major projects, but we'll see. And Megan, send me back the Haunted Mansion and Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Too bad. Bye, guys. All right, since it's raining outside... And I don't want to go out in the rain. I'm going to do something to um, get closer to installing the um, dishwasher without the cat. This does not have a power outlet for the dishwasher, which is underneath. I have to install one, and I'm going to have to install a switch that goes to the garbage disposer. So that's going to go here. And I purchased a triple box to hold all three of these. This is an old, these are called uh, old construction power boxes or power outlet boxes. I have to uh, turn these off because I'm going to have to remove all this, put them back into this box, put the switch in as well. I'm going to have to do wire just going down from the switch to the box, cut out a little extra to install all that. But before I can actually do that, I need to install my power box underneath here. And uh, so I need to cut a hole first to see where everything is. And then I could run the wire down to the box and I could run the power up through the, seat, uh, the, the floor to the uh, power up. It's gonna be fun. Does this kind of remind anybody of more holes and walls?
holes in head. <laughs> I've got the uh, dishwasher out and looking for a place to put my uh, my electrical box. And I pulled up some flooring here and realized that there are actually some holes that go all the way into the basement. And I was thinking maybe I should hardwire the uh, dishwasher. But then I'd still have to wire for the garbage disposer. So I figured, nah. And it already has a power cord on it. So that'd be kind of a waste. So back to my original plan. And a couple of things I had to consider. Um, first of all, if I put it at a normal height, that you would, would put a power outlet. It's usually around 18 inches. And uh, the plugs will stick out and maybe... Uh, keep the dishwasher from going all the way back. Now, uh, I'm going to put it in at 7 inches down here, which um, since it's not going to be seen is not a big deal and um, it's still too high to be, have any issues with plumbing uh, or if it uh, floods or something like that. So I will put it down here and my stud is right here and the other stud is about here somewhere so I'm gonna put it about right here as close to these wires going to drill a small hole. I've got an angle drill and see if it'll fit through there. Drill it in and see um, if I can see light of day in the, in the uh, basement. All right so I got the, uh, the rough wire coming in from the basement and my next step is to pull this stuff out okay. and uh, expand that so I have the switch going down to here and then I can install the the, the, the box. This is a very So I've got the, the, the box completely cut out now. I have the rough wiring done both top and bottom. That took me forever to uh, wind that through because of the insulation that's in there. It's old insulation obviously and it's tar paper on the outside and every time I pushed a wire through it would rip through the tar paper create a mess. All right just gotta wire it now. All right, so this is the power coming from my, uh, my board over there, and this is where I'm going to tie in. This actually just goes to the, the one outlet, and here is my wire going to my new outlet. I'm going to leave enough to uh, be able to um, tack it down. I don't have these tacks right now. I'll have to do that later. Right now, I need to run the wire into the box. All right, that should be good. Ah, 
Okay. All right, so that's wired. I just got to finish up the wiring on the switch and then test it. All right, so here's the, the box. And here's my my outlet switch. And this is the kind of the cool part of this whole thing. This is the power coming in from the basement, from the power box. This just goes to the switch. So, um, uh, what I need to do is I'm going to do a half hot or a switched outlet here. So usually in the wiring you, t you tend to, uh, to uh, have the bottom part as switched and the top as hot all the time. So this is going to be attached to the bottom part. Now in order to get that to work, because this outlet is designed to have just one wire come in and one wire come out, and it, and it uh, will put power to both of those. We're going to have to disconnect one part of this. And it's going to be on the side where the power comes in, over here. And there's this little tab. I don't know if you could see it. There's a little tab right there. And I'm going to break that off so that it's, we don't have a continuous flow of power to both socket circuits just snap it off there so I'm gonna have to uh, wire the, um, the hots which is the black ones together and I'm gonna put in an extra piece of wire here to go to the unswitched side so we have power going to the switched and power is going to be going up to or to power to the non-switched and power going up to the switch itself. So now that I've got the hots tied together, this power is going up to the switch. And when I turn the switch on, the power is going to come out the white wire, which is not neutral anymore. Uh, it's going to be a... Uh, it's hot. Bless you, bless you. All right. And I only have to use one neutral going back to the power. Power. Uh. Uh. All right, so the last thing to do is to test it before I put the covers on. Okay, so of course this took a lot longer than I was hoping it would pretty much took the whole day but uh, here's the moment of proof the power is on nothing's on fire so I've got that that much going for me you want to come in here and gloat at me if this doesn't work oh you mean I get to make fun of you yes work? you do I'm on my way for that all right you get to film so what I have is um, fun little tester. This not only will show, tell me if the power is working, it will also tell me if it's wired correctly. If it's not, it'll tell me. Watch out, booms, so I can so, get over here. This is back on, and these two are lit up. The two yellows mean that it's wired correctly. Uh, I've got that rewired with a switch. Underneath. Oh. Top one should be hot all the time. It says it's wired correctly. The bottom one. Uh oh, spaghettio. Not working. All right. I must redeem myself. Switch wasn't working. Mm. Blame it on the switch. Put a new switch in. Ah! Hmm. See? Maybe the switch wasn't working. And this is switched. That's the part that the, the garbage disposal will be plugged in, so that you can go over here, flip on the garbage disposer, and then the dishwasher will be plugged into the other one, which is always on. Yes. You're a genius. Of course.
Right? And Boomer did it all. You just sat back and watched. Yeah. <laughs> right, Boom? Get off the counter. Okay, so it's done. And I have um, cleaned it all up. Got the um, outlet working, set up. I've got the, uh, the switches and one outlet over here set up. All working. Now I just have to deal with the plumbing and then I can get the dishwasher and the um, garbage disposer up and running. Hopefully within the next couple of days. I guess this really is the neighborhood zoo it's today. We got that one up there getting in trouble. We got the other one pooping on the floor. We got <laughs> this one just trying everything he can. And this one coughing away down here. It's the geriatric uh, zoo. Except for that one. <laughs> How do you feel growing up with a whole bunch of old people? <laughs> uh. So. <laughs> anyway. Alright, I scratch your butt. You stop crying at me. <laughs> I managed not to throw up at all today. Yay! But I'm still nauseous as can be. But I'm hanging in there. <gasps> hanging tough. Oh. So, um, I didn't do much. I've been working on, um, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed or not, I've set up some new playlists. And I've been moving videos around and adding descriptions into um, the videos and whatnot. Um, so I've been working on doing some of that stuff since I can't really get up and do much right now. At least I can keep busy. So that's what I've been doing. What you do all day today, babe? Uh... Cut holes in walls, wire. Oh boy, holes in walls. Brings back memories, guys. That was a more beautiful holes, kitchen. More holes than wall. That was a beautiful kitchen, wasn't it? It was a beautiful kitchen, and uh, one of these days we'll have a kitchen that looks similar to that here. But uh, it just brings back memories. So anyway, um, <laughs> do you have anything else you'd like I, to add? Nothing, and my arms hurt from holding this camera. So. Okay, so let's call it an evening. We hope you enjoy a little bit of.